Video games are getting too big. No, I'm not talking about the gaming industry being so prevalent. I mean the scale and explorable worlds are getting too big. Now, I'm not saying a big game world is bad by any means, however, when a game's world is so massive yet so empty, it doesn't make me want to explore it. Obviously there are exceptions to this, but when game devs could take the time away from creating needlessly large worlds and focus on story and other things, it would make games way better. Me personally, I flip-flop between multiple games, and I want to be able to finish said games, but if every game is 100 hours and has needlessly long travel times, I probably won't ever finish them, I have work, side projects, social events to go to, church events, so I don't have infinite time to finish multiple 100-hour games. I think games need to focus more on being good rather than being big. Your issue isn't that games are too big. Your issue is that games are big only for the excuse of being big rather than having a point. I like big maps, but they have to have a easy fast travel. It's cool in the beginning to explore and collect everything, but there is a point where you are strong enough to not worry about that shit, and need to travel fast. I hate when games are measured in hours instead of quality. I personally am tired of everything going open world. An RPG or survival elements being in most games. I miss playing some more linear nice story games. They're becoming rarer. I totally agree. I'd rather have smaller scale worlds that feel much more alive than a huge map with 90 of nothingness and 10 repeated assets. Don't even get me started on traveling. While I get the devs want players to explore, you also have to be considerate of players who just want to follow and enjoy the main story. Anyone who wants to do extra content can go out of their way to. AAA games are bad about being less games and more faffing about simulators. Game hears this huge wonderful world full of places to explore, enemies to encounter, NPCs to interact with. There are thousands of weapons, dozens of vehicles, a crafting system, an RPG element upgrade system, and four different kinds of currency. Go have fun. Me standing there okay but. What do I do? Game I just told you. Me know you told me what I could do. You haven't given me a reason to do any of it yet. I miss 15-20 hours AAA games. I don't mind a massive game every now and then. But it feels like every game is full of padding just to make it 40-50 hours. Yes. But it is what the buyer wants, best-selling video games are usually mostly online-driven like COD or huge GTA V, RDR2, Skyrim, Fallout 4, Elden Ring, etc. Making a short video game is deemed too risky due to the high costs and it makes sense, if you have limited budget to Skyrim, Fallout, RDR2 style of game is a safer bet. Video games are definitely being geared towards people who do nothing but play video games. It sucks. Yeah my favorite kind of games are Plague Tale, Tomb Raider, and these are more rare. Hollow Knight is a good mix of these two things. The map is pretty big, but never feels too big and is always packed with content. Every place has a purpose and adds to the lore, and it overall is a very enjoyable open world experience although open world in the sense a typical metroidvania is. Yeah I think companies don't realize people don't give a shit about how big the map is or how nice the graphics are if there's no gameplay to do. No one wants to explore a procedurally generated game world. I agree. Games that can be beaten in 10 hours or less have a special place in my heart. Arkham Asylum, Bioshock, Hotline Miami, Halo, Gears of War, the early COD campaigns. Even the first two Assassin's Creed were small compared to what they have become. Fallout 3 was much smaller than Fallout 4 and Starfield. Don't get me wrong RDR2 and Skyrim were amazing experiences, but I'm 30, and ain't got time to sink 50 hours into every game that comes out anymore. Me and my GF just played through It Takes Two, and it was refreshing to play a short and simple game over a couple of nights. So basically you want more games to be like Deus Ex Human Revolution? Just kidding. But I agree some games are just too big an open world. The creation of your own character leads to a rootlessness, where you don't really bound to a character or storyline the way you do when reading a book. I think The Witcher 3 dies a good job with this. It's a very open world and you can tweak your character, 
but there is a central plot and characters that you can bond with. This is exactly how Starfield feels for me. I'm a 26-year-old college student working full-time, but even if I was still 18 working part-time no school and a game came out where a selling point was there's 1,000 planets, you can go to and explore 100 have big cities, 900 are mostly barren. That just sounds like a waste of my time. Huge open worlds are just walking simulators with pit stops, it's so boring and overdone. Too big? No. I'm happy to spend 100 hours if it's fun. Stressing the video part much more than the game part. Yes. I just want another game like Hollow Knight. Baldur's Gate 3 is kind of insanely big. As much as I think it's one of the GOAT games, I am like, man, 164 hours and I'm still only early in Act 3. I miss linear games. AC Valhalla is the very definition of overinflated and boring. And this is coming from someone who enjoyed Origins and Odyssey. I love the new Zelda games, but their impact on the industry has been horrible. It's one of the reasons I'm not interested in Starfield. 1000 procedurally generated planets just sounds empty and soulless to me. I've played No Man's Sky and that type of content gets boring fast, it just feels like a chore to go hunt all these resources in a lifeless simulation. With rare exceptions e.g. Far Cry 3, I've always found tight, linear, games driven by a kick-ass story to be the best experiences e.g. Max Payne 1. Try Gothic 1 or Deus Places, but you can explore as much as you want and you will always find something you missed before. I both agree and disagree on a personal level. And definitely get where you're coming from in a more general sense. Large and empty? Hate. Poorly balanced grinding that feels dry. Hate. Long games? Personally love them, don't have the ability to get a lot of games and don't enjoy many either so I love the ones I'm enjoying to be able to be played for a long time. But I also do understand that good and short games should exist. Like not every game is for me and absolutely none are being made for me. So yeah. I love big and interactive. The problem is one without the other. IMO people who say these kinds of things just aren't looking. Yeah, AAA game are getting massive but maybe look at games that aren't from big companies? This was how I felt playing Zelda, got to do the same task 100 times to get some seeds, and help a man hold up a sign another 100 times. Everyone was saying how amazing it was, but for that being side content it felt so lazy. The original Super Mario Bros. for NES is literally like 30 kilobytes. Now, games today are several gigabytes. I agree. I regret playing through whole AC Valhalla like 70 hours when I could finish after 6 or 7 cores this game is literally the same story over and over again. This feeling magnified after playing some great short games like Metal Hellblade or A Plague Tale Innocence. NGL this is part of the reason why I love Armored Core 6 so much. You don't know how refreshing it was to finally play a modern big game that, instead of having a massive open world or smaller, Twisted interconnected one, it was in nice, bite-size well-made pieces. I hope modern AAA game companies see AC6, and realize not every single player game needs to be a big open world with hundreds of side quests. I actually agree. I think games in the 360 PS3 era were the perfect size and length. I don't hate a huge game. Red Dead Redemption 2 was massive and I loved it but in general I don't have one hundreds of hours to sink into games anymore. Just give me a moderate-sized map with 30-ish hours to finish everything. That's all I need. I used to use Gamefly. When I realized I was spending six months on one game, I decided it was better just to buy the game. Also they're all like 100 gigs my little computer can't run that. 